Well, here's a uh, little Bobcat 3023 uh, trencher. It uh, has a trencher attachment. Looks like it has a two inch receiver too. Dozer blade on the front. As you can see, I just drained the hydraulic oil. She's just dripping right now. This fitting right here was leaking. The uh, O-ring is probably screwed. This is the main feeder hose, so you have to drain the entire tank. Luckily, it's only like a four gallon tank. Well, I guess like five gallons or so. Anyway, yeah. Uh, runs pretty well. I'd start it up, but then I'd run the pump dry. Uh, any key use it. This is the Ford tractor key. Didn't have a battery when we got it. So I have the uh, Ford tractor battery in there just for uh, something to start it with. Big update on the Ford tractor coming. Anyway, yeah. Disc brake on the uh, main drive line. Looks like it might be tweaked a bit. I don't know. Looks like it. Anyway, full time four wheel drive. Very slow. Little uh, four cylinder Kubota. Not really sure what that number seven is for. Somewhere around here it says Kubota. I just looked at it. Oh, there it is. Probably didn't have very many hours on it. Just been sitting outside a lot. It runs very well. Looks like it's almost full on fuel. Either that or it doesn't work. The um, throttle goes into the red, so I'm gonna have to uh, loosen this bolt and back it down so it stays in the green. Unless this is inaccurate, which I don't think it is. Let me scrape that off and see if I can read it. Well, I don't know if you can tell. Right there's a zero. The first one. So it's still in the hundreds. Looks like there's a six there. Mm, is that? I don't know. We can find out. Focus retard. Looks like that's a five and that's a nine down there, so looks like it has six hundred and sixty-one hours. If that's right. Probably isn't. Seems like it might have a few more hours than that. Well it's got brand new tires and Around 500 hours is about when tires wear out, so yeah, I'd imagine probably that probably is correct. Anyway, got full fuel. The uh, throttle needs some um, love. I'm not squeaking pretty bad. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go through it and make sure everything's a okay. And we'll uh, take off this hose that is still dripping and um, fix that o ring. Then we'll be good to use it. I'll probably uh, power wash. Guys, put this wrench on here and it ain't even finger tight. Either it rattled loose or somebody never fully tightened it. Well, I'm. when they replaced it. Well, I'm gonna quick tighten it up. Well, I got her filled up all the way and. Uh, she ain't leaking anymore. I took off all these covers and it won't, didn't take me very long. Probably didn't take me five minutes to get all the covers off, but um, I wish I knew that it was just a um, leaky fitting or I would have just sn uh, snuck a wrench down in there because I couldn't even get my hand down in there to feel if it was loose or not. If I knew it was loose, I'd just sneak a wrench down in there and tighten it, but I didn't know it was only loose, I thought the o-ring was bad, so I, um, well, you know, took everything apart. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to, uh, purge the pump, which means, um, get fluid back in the pump. Uh, make sure that everything's working right, 
and then I'll put all the uh, covers back on. That's the uh, top cover. This one's another one. This is another one. They both bolt onto there. And there's a couple covers over there in the seat. And I'm sure my fellow YouTubers, this is the kill switch. Anyway, yeah, um, I'm sure my fellow YouTubers would like to come along for the ride to, uh, see the doohickey fire up. I have no idea what this is for, but I'm going to leave it where it was. Anyway, give her a bit of glow. It's just running, so it wouldn't need it, but... Battery's a little bit undercharged and probably underpowered, but uh, it starts. Oh, it says right there on the block what CC it is. Look at that. Never seen that. <laughs> Only on. <coughs> Sorry. Only on equipment like this. Um, anyway, yeah, it'll be good for that battery to put it back into use. It's good to uh, keep batteries going. Anyway, I'm going to uh, make sure the trencher works and everything works before I um, I'll put it all back together. Uh, so yeah, well, let's do that off camera. stuff too and she digs just fine. Chips up this hard sand like it's nothing. Sure it wouldn't do so well in rock but ooh wow I'm surprised the seal isn't busted on that. One thing I don't like is these valves are either open or shut. There's no in between. That pisses me off. You can't fine tune anything. Yep that's hot. About here is um, in the green. Go up to here, it's like right here, pretty much up against a peg, which is, I'm not 100% sure that that's accurate, because that just doesn't quite seem right. Anyway, yeah, um, if we wanted to take off this trencher, like uh, I'm sure Quinn Rental would have anything you want, like a backhoe to put on the back of this thing. Just pull this pin, this cotter pin, it really should have a hitch pin for the uh, quick connect that it is. And um, I'll probably use this hydraulic to tip it like that, tip this part like that, and then just, you're done. Not 100% sure why they have this sheet of galvanized here, but I'm pretty sure it's to protect hoses. But it doesn't even go down that far. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No way, yeah, I was messing around with it. I uh, tried to dig a drainage trench right here, and all it would do is slide on the surface. It wouldn't do very much. So it's certainly not like a bulldozer, but I'm sure it would work if this is all you had. Controls, even though they're manual controls, they only work while the engine is running, which I don't really understand. Because they are manual controls, but, <laughs> oh well, maybe the pump blocks it. Got the parking brake up. I think, uh, 
somehow here you lock it. I don't know, I don't usually use this kind of parking brake. I'll probably read that and find out. But yeah, anyway, she's ready to rock. Tried it out a bit and, uh, ooh, looks like this, uh, sprocket might need to be flipped pretty soon. Anyway, yeah, she be working. I might just push this all the way down just to see how it works. Got a two inch receiver there. I guess you could, if you wanted to, I guess you could use it for, um, whoops, sorry, I guess if you wanted to, you could use it for moving around trailers. Definitely isn't a high speed vehicle. I mean, it took me two minutes to get from where those three guys are standing to where I am now. Um, if you exclude that. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to figure out this parking brake, make sure it doesn't move, and uh, we'll call it a day. We might uh, mess around with it, maybe clean out a couple horse pens. I might uh, run down to Gary and ask if um, he needs to use it for anything. Um, Tony told me that's the first thing I should do, because after we make sure that it works because uh, we're always using his shit so uh, we might as well ask if he needs to use our shit <laughs> anyway yeah I'm going to uh, run down there and see if he needs it yeah thanks a lot well here we are the next morning it's uh, cold enough the bayou didn't really want to idle it's like 25 or 30 degrees I parked the um, trencher up here Looks like I didn't idle it all the way down when I shut it off. Well, that was only a little bit. Probably just enough to uh, keep it from vibrating so much. Anyway, yeah. Put the throttle up to about, mm, about half-ish. I can't get it to half. I don't think this one has glow plugs there. That's glow. Well, I'm going to check the oil. It's not my machine, so I might as well check the oil before I burn up the engine. Yep, it's got oil all the way up to the full line. This is a little Kubota. I think I'll try to start off without the glow plugs. I did like a second of glow there, but... And this thing likes to... Uh-oh. forgot to set the brake. Oh, well, it wasn't going to move anyway. This thing likes to um, move since it's a hydraulic drive here. It uh, likes to move. Ooh, my camera battery's almost dead. Anyway, yeah. Let's do glow. Ten seconds or so of glow. All right, let's go. So there you go. It needs glow to start. That's good to know. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to copy 1997 CR80R and wire a buzzer into this oil light here because you that is the kill switch there. And when you kill it, you might forget the key on and drain the battery. So I think I'm going to copy him. Uh, he uh, did that on his um, Bobcat. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching.